welcome to another Long Clippings video by Lawn Fawn. Today we are introducing our brand new set, Be Mine. It's an adorable little mini set that's perfect for Valentine's Day. Of course the set has this really sweet little bee in it. I just love him. He looks great stamped on his own or for just a little easy simple coloring, just adding the yellow and some little light blue in for the wings. And then he's got this really great trail that's in the shape of a heart. I love that this set is just great for making little Valentine's treats and, and little Valentine cards, maybe for your kid's class or, you know, for some friends just to give them, you know, some sweet Valentines. So I just love that little trail. It just looks, just this right here is such a cute card. We also have kind of a build a flower portion of this set. So we have a, uh, the little leaf and stem here. So I'm going to stamp that out a few times. There. And then we have these really great hearts and flowers that you can add to the stem. So I love the idea, especially for Valentine's, of creating a heart-shaped flower. Just like that. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. We also have a smaller sized heart, which makes a cute little flower. And what's nice about all the different sizes, you can layer and make a really cute kind of heart flower garden. And this heart looks great. You can actually stamp it in this other heart and the layers look really adorable that way too. I love that they fit inside each other. Then we have this great little solid heart. I like this one for creating little backgrounds, you know, kind of decorating, creating some pattern paper, uh, but it's also great because it does fit inside this little heart just like that, which I think looks pretty cute. Uh, and you can also, you could also create a very tiny, cute little heart flower just like that, which is kind of sweet, kind of mixing up the different sizes. Then of course we have an actual flower shape, which is great for kind of adding amongst your heart flowers. Just like that, so sweet. You could leave it blank, or just like that, or you can put that solid heart in the middle also, which I think looks really cute. Just like that, really adorable. I, I love that little flower, and I love that you could stamp all sorts of different colors with this. Then of course we have a little sentiment with this set. And that is Be Mine. So right here, you can see this sweet sentiment like that. I went ahead and added a bunch of color to these images. I think they just look so cute. So let's go ahead and put together a sweet little valentine. I'm going to go ahead and stamp out a cute little flower garden here at the bottom. And I'm going to stamp it so that my leaf goes off the side just a little bit so that it kind of looks like a continuous garden. Then I'm going to add my medium sized heart here to my flowers. Here's a little trick to see where the other heart would be. I'm just lining it up with the one I stamped off on my little scratch paper here. And we'll see just a little bit on the side goes on there. I'm going to go ahead and add some quick color to these with R20, R27, and YG17. No shading or anything, just kind of filling everything in. Nice, quick little valentine. So I'm going to stamp my trail first and then I can kind of attach my bee to it. Just like that. And then go ahead and stamp my sweet little bee. Now I want to show you guys a quick trick here. I actually got a little bit of ink on there by mistake but I have a white gel pen and this is a great way once you've already started working pretty hard on a project you could cover it up with a white gel pen and nobody will ever notice. I just tap the white gel pen on there and you can't even see the smudge anymore. So it's a nice little fix. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my cute little sentiment here. And I'm going to add some color to the bee. I'm just using a yellow marker. This is Y19. And I'm going to fill in his little body really easily. Then I'm going to take a dark gray marker and fill in some of these little lines here just to give them a little bit more of that black stripe. Which I think looks really cute. And then this is my little trick for things like wings and stuff that are clear. I use a really light blue marker. Any light blue will work. And I just outline right inside the line on the wings and it really makes them pop and gives them kind of that translucent wing kind of feeling to it. I'm going to take a light pink marker and just run it over my trail here just to spruce it up a little bit. 
So this part of my card is done. Here I have a three inch, three inch by three inch card, two and three quarter by two and three quarter panel, and then two and a half by two and a half. Really easy, simple way to make a card. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some kind of little pattern paper effect to this card. So I'm gonna be using some Versamark ink, which is like a watermark to kind of give a tone on tone pattern on this red card stock I have here. So I'm just gonna ink up my solid heart and start stamping it all around. Now we're covering up most of this card, so we just have to stamp around the edge. So I'm all done there, and you can see how it just adds a little bit of something. Just knowing that there's little hearts on there just creates a little pattern. And now we've layered all of our pieces together for this cute and simple little valentine. Okay, so I'm gonna make a cute little treat bag to go along with my card. I found, I found just a little bag that I had. You can find them even at your grocery store, little different size bags. Put some jelly beans in there, because and clearly we went through and ate all the good jelly beans at our house. I'm gonna measure the top of the bags. It's about three and five eighths for this bag. So I cut a piece of cardstock down to that width, and I left a bunch of space here because I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out my scene and then kind of decide how tall I want it to be. some quick color there and I'm gonna go ahead and add a quick score right above my B so that looks like it's gonna be about I'm gonna do it at about inch and a quarter I'm just gonna make a small pencil mark and use that as my guide And now we've got our cute little bag topper. Obviously it'd be really cute if these were red and pink in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some staples to this and then we're gonna cover up the staples. So I'm just gonna cover these little strips of cardstock that I just took from some scratch paper I had from making my card and just line it with glue and then cover up these staples. And there we go, a cute little bag, and a cute little bag of treats, you know, cute little treats where you can do cookies I and mean, you could do a bigger bag, anything that you might be making for Valentine's Day, and a great little card to go with it that are super easy and fun to make. So that is our brand new set, Be Mine. It's a great little mini two by three set that's got our cute bee, this great heart trail, the Be Mine sentiment, and then this build a flower portion where we've got the little leaves and a bunch of different hearts that you can layer in different ways to create a really sweet Valentine flower garden. Made a quick little card here, creating some pattern paper, a little garden, really easy to do from creating lots of Valentines. And then this really cute little treat bag topper, which uh, would be really easy to make and and fun for you know things like jelly beans or also cookies or baked goods anything that you might be making so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day bye